What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to your Monday preview. I'm going to keep this video very short and sweet because I don't know if there's that much hype there, especially seeing as where we're at with the game at the moment with the boosters and stuff. It's going to be very interesting to see what you guys think. So let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts on what should be coming on Monday, which is the 29th of January, or depending on your time difference, once the server is, uh, the maintenance is finished, right? So Turam, Raspidori, Immobile, Lukaku, you've got a couple of guys here. We know what we're going to be getting, and that usually kind of like guides us towards what legends we're going to be getting. So, I mean, these are kind of a secondary reason for opening this pack. You're not going to be really opening this pack, um, you know, for the likes of Turam or for the likes of Raspidori or immobile and be like yeah these are my top picks that i want obviously we'll do a bit of review on them we will be streaming tomorrow as well so we'll take a look at these cards in a little bit more detail and we will also know when we have the layer levels updated as well for the players we'll take a look at the cards in a little bit more detail otherwise there's no real point i think this is probably going to be one of the weakest selections that they have brought out unless they have really high levels on some of these players which i can't see them doing but anyway, on to kind of like the legends. So a lot of new legends have been added or epic players or different variations. So Romario, we know, is finally going to be coming to the game with a brand new booster. You know, Roberto Carlos, Stevie G, Makalele, Cannavaro. All of these guys are going to be getting a new booster, as you see here. Neymar, including Cafu. All of these guys are going to be pretty decent. But all our eyes are going to be on tomorrow is going to be these guys, which are going to be what we assume are going to be the Italian League selection attackers as epics. So you've got a couple in here. We don't have Baggio. Baggio was added to the game. You'll see the thumbnail there of Baggio. You see Romario. Baggio's down as an attacking midfielder, so he's very unlikely to come tomorrow. Usually they stay from position to position. So defenders are usually CBs and... Uh, fullbacks and then obviously midfielders can be anywhere up along the pitch as we saw with Beckham Mendieta those two are different types of players and they have different positions so there are four players in here that could come including Milito from Inter Milan so this is from the 09-10 season he's going to have 27 levels as I said lads there isn't much to talk about here he'll probably get a booster there so we don't need to pump in too much there no real passing about him no real dribbling about him we can get to 85 type possession which is going to take up the majority of this card we can also get his defense of offensive awareness up to 95 balance is going to be a bit of an issue but he's not too bad i think we're also going to pop in a few into his aerial ability as well if you've got 10 hag of course that would be 80 speed yeah, i mean this is a disappointing card unless he has like 33 levels if this guy's got six more levels you'll probably be able to get that speed up that acceleration up and that balance up to like if you can get the acceleration up over 90 that would be nice on this card because he is going to be down um as a card that i think a lot of people will like which is a fox in the box okay um we also have this center forward from atalanta and usually what they do is they kind of spread it around so they usually have different clubs in that is obviously to catch everybody that is a fan of three clubs rather than having a pack with barcelona players because if you don't you know want a barcelona player you're not going to spin so they're kind of gone clever that way as well with it i mean some people would say that it's a bit um it's a bit unfair but let me know your thoughts in the comments below i'm really interested to know your thoughts on these four guys that could potentially come or whether they'll all come together this guy's got 31 levels same issues kind of same same type of card really um fox in the box as you see there going to have high finishing you would expect the dribbling is going to be a little bit better you'll actually get 88 type possession which will give you the 90 um you'll get his offensive awareness up really really nice speed is going to be a bit of a concern and his stamina but i think these guys are going to be kind of yeah not really making too many squads now all eyes will probably be on whether then ronaldinho comes or the new del piero so this new del piero is actually quite decent especially if he's got 31 levels and he gets a fairly decent booster um if his finishing booster gets up if his dribbling booster gets up we could have a very nice card on our hands here it depends where they actually kind of like give him his booster because his stats are quite decent i mean obviously i'm a big fan of having dexterity as high as you possibly can um but there is obviously different decisions to make depending on where you want to train him that's not a bad card at all and then ronaldinho to round it off whether he'll come or not tomorrow some are pe some people are saying that ronaldinho won't come that it'll be these three boys here but i think ronaldinho could have an outside chance of coming and if he's got 33 levels even though he's an older player um in this ronaldinho is down as a left winger which is very interesting on this character because he's still down as a creative playmaker 
But the rest of his stats are very, very, very solid. I mean, he's Ronaldinho, man. You know what you're going to be getting with him. You won't need to put too much into that because you, I reckon he'll probably get 86. He'll probably get 80. He'll probably get the booster into his ball control, dribbling type position, a low pass. That will mean that you won't need to train up these as high. If you do, I think it could obviously be a bit of a different card. But if you're able to get his dexterity and his balance up over 90, and then while still having his speed at about 85, you'll still be able to have that finishing at 85 as well with these stats. So it could be a very, very nice card if he's got 33 levels. Obviously, the levels don't get updated directly until the game is actually out and the maintenance is over. So yeah, but that is it, lads. That is it from me. We'll be back on keeping this video very short and sweet. Just a Monday preview, as we always do. Bit of a unique thing on the channel just to see what these players are going to be like. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. For me... I'm more kind of like thinking I'm going to skip these. I think there's only one man that I really want now, and that's Romario. I don't think Ronaldinho will sway it for me or Del Piero. But I could be, I could be swayed. We'll see um, if you guys want me to open some. As of now, I probably won't bother, to be honest with you. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of these players. Excuse me. And uh, we'll be back very, very soon. Peace.